Welcome everyone to the third part of the Minecraft Loot Table Tutorial Series. What we are going to talk about today are conditions. Conditions are requirements that must be met before either a pool can be executed, an individual entry can be selected or before a function can be won. Before we start, click here if you haven't seen the first two parts of this tutorial. And now, let's start. First of all, I'm going to show you how to add conditions to your loot tables, in this case to a pool. Wherever you want to add conditions, simply write down the conditions tag followed by a structure similar to the functions. You take a pair of curly brackets for each condition inside the square brackets of the main tag. Now every condition needs the condition tag to define its type and, depending on that, other tags. The first type I'm showing you is the random chance condition. The chance of the condition to be met is set by the chance tag with 1 meaning 100% probability and a lower value for a lower chance. With this condition active, there now is a 50% chance of this pool to be executed. As I mentioned earlier, conditions can't only be added to a pool. Let me quickly move them to the entry and as you can see, it works without any problems. For functions, there's absolutely no difference. You can add conditions to them as you did before. Now that you know how to use conditions in general, I'll show you all the different types available to use, starting with the random chance with looting condition. It needs two tags to be set. The chance tag works exactly the same like in the random chance condition, but the actual probability of the condition to be met will be increased by the value of the looting multiplier tag for every level of looting your sword is enchanted with. So basically, this loot table has a 1 in 10 chance to drop a smooth stone instead of cobblestone. But this chance is increased by 30% for every level of looting on your sword. The killed by player condition really isn't that hard to understand. Condition is met whenever the mob with this loot table is killed by a player. And not just falling from the sky. If you want to invert this condition, you can simply do that by adding the inverse tag and setting it to true. Now the function only gets applied when the pig is dying without me killing it. The entity properties condition can be used to check if the killed or killing entity has specific properties. At the moment however, the only property you can check is whether the entity is burning or not. To use this condition, you need to set the entity tag. The possible values are this, killer entity and killer, depending on the entity you want to refer to. This means the mob that dies. The other two I'll explain later on. The second tag you need to add is the properties tag with its pair of curly brackets in which you write the on fire property with its value, true or false. So these pigs drop cobblestone until they burn while they die. When they burn, the condition will be met and the function will be applied. Now I'll change the value for the entity tag to killer entity and set the on fire tag to false. Killer entity means the entity which caused the mob to die. Killer basically means the same as killer entity but includes the killed by player condition. So this loot table will drop stone except when I or the creeper for example are burning. The last condition, the entity scores condition, checks if the dying or killing entity has specific scoreboard scores. Therefore this condition has a lot of potential for custom maps. As the previous one, this condition needs the entity tag and additionally the scores tag is needed. Inside the curly brackets of the scores tag you can put a bunch of scoreboard objectives with values that must be met by the specified entity. As long as I don't have the needed values for all the scores, I'll only get cobblestone, because the condition isn't met. 
but when my score for A is 1 and my score for B is between 3 and 6, the pig will drop stone. Of course you can't only check scores for the killing entity. As before you can use this as your value for entity to check for the pig's scores. If you have any questions concerning the conditions or loot tables in general, feel free to ask me down in the comment section. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye bye. <laughs>